so I have the need to hold a laptop while I'm standing, moving around. This works for a couple of minutes. By the end of the day, my arm is falling off. So I need something that can support. I can just hang or attach to myself so I can walk around. Because I've got two more days of holding a laptop all day, and this right here is not going to work. Version 1 was not. Version 2 uses sliders and metal rings. Functionally, it's the same. I started with some chain link. I was going to use this kind of like a felt hook. Chain link's not going to work, but I do have carabiners. I'm thinking I can hook the carabiners to my belt so that way I can take this thing off because I don't want it to be a lot of trouble. i got some nylon straps. I think with this and the carabiners, I can create some kind of loop around my neck that loops around the laptop and back of my belt. This is what we're starting with. Let's see where it goes. Seems pretty stable. I don't think it's going to slide out of here. It potentially could to keep together. Well, I think that works. Now, maybe I'll look silly. Maybe i look like I'm some kind of computer vendor. But you know what? I don't have to carry it with my arm all day. So I think I'm going to call this a success. Until, of course, the laptop falls and breaks. And, you know, we'll deal with that later. I wonder if I can fix that with strapping. So a couple of improvements I'm going to make. The, the bottom... The bottom loop is a little loose. I'm not sure I want it much wider. Being tight, it pulls kind of straps in so they don't want to come off the laptop. And I need to put a knot right behind here so the thing doesn't want to slide down like that. I think those improvements they may work a little bit better. So I got the knots on the bottom, so it's not going to slide down. So all the straps are pulling in to the center of the computer, so that way they're not going to fall out of these edges right here. All right, my mobile computer workstation is done. So this is the harness. I loop around the neck. Carabiners clipped to my belt. Let's see the laptop hooked into the harness. What I do, I hook one strap on one side of the hinge. I can strap on the other side of the hinge, and the knots in these straps keep it from going too far down. And that's it. You see I have good mobility. It doesn't want to flip out. I could always put some elastic or something across the bottom, but most of I have my hands on it anyway, so it doesn't really want to move. This is where I can walk around. I can take notes on the computer. I still have both hands available. Then my arm might get tired by holding the laptop or switching off one to the other. I can do exactly what I need to. The laptop right there. I made my first version, just not. I decided to upgrade it. I wanted to use sliders to give it a degree of adjustability and just make it look nice and like something you buy from the store. So I just took the one that was knotted, extracted those measurements, applied it to this. Now these straps are longer because with the sliders, it folds back over itself. That way you can slide it in and out to make it longer or pull it back to make it shorter. That's the only difference. Functionally, it's very much the same. So this is version 1, this is what I started with. All it is, is 1 inch nylon strapping, and a bunch of knots to serve its purpose. These knots hold the laptop, carabines are clap to clip around my belt, a loop for my neck. So for version 2, I wanted to see if I could make it more professional. To give this a, a degree of adjustability, you use a triglide. Loop one end around the center of the triglide, you would sew it or somehow attach it. And then with that one end looped, you'd run another length through the triglide, and this would be around your carabiner or whatever you want to attach to. This isn't attached to the other end. So I'm going to add those at various points around this harness. I've got these metal rings that are going to be at the shoulder point. We're going to throw those together and see how it works. I'm also going to add some elastic that goes across the carabiners that would serve to 
go across the keyboard portion of the laptop just so I don't want to tip out. I kind of hold it steady. I haven't had a problem with it wanting to tip out. But you know, if I'm doing this, might as well go all the way. I don't like this elastic is white. I may upgrade that to black. Now to take it off, you just slide it out of the hinge on each side. There's a little bit of guesswork as far as how long to make some of these straps. I mean, I use my knotted one as a guide, but the, this cross strap is a bit too long. I like to go back and shorten it. I've got it as short as it will go, like a little bit shorter. The waist strap, that is as short as it will go. I wish it was a little bit shorter. Now the neck strap and the strap section that hold the laptop, they are perfect length. They work great. That's really the only thing I'd change. I wouldn't mind my carabiners being the same color, but I had these on hand, so I didn't feel like buying more carabiners. Well, I need to take it off. I just unclip it from my belt. And then, pull it over my head, and it's off. Awesome.